This is part six of ten, so go watch the first six first, you silly child. Ang is in desperate need of a return. We all can agree on this. I don't think I need to go into why at this point. So, who are his options? There's Captain Planet, which would be funny, but I don't care for it. There's Link from the recent duology, which is neat, but Link's best was Cloud. And there's my preferred, Ang vs. Poe. I'll mention it now that I don't think Poe needs to return as much as Ang, but I still think there's more that can be done with him. Kung Fu Panda being my favourite movie franchise should come as no surprise at this point, and Attila is my second favourite show of all time. And given how much these two have connections wise, I'm shocked that this wasn't what initially happened for both of them. The setup to the fight could involve Ang seeking a master of chi, Poe geeking out over the avatar, and the spa beginning with Poe teaching Ang some lessons and vice versa. Travelling around the Valley of Peace, having the time of their lives, eventually ending up in the spirit realm for the climax, allowing for a visually stunning symphony of light accompanied by an orchestral track by Werewolf. And yeah, Ho wins. I do buy planet level Kung Fu Panda, and I honestly buy Universal whilst within the spirit realm. I'll explain more about that when we get to the top 10, you'll see. The death would involve Aang powering himself up with Rava, but Poe's mastery of mindfulness would allow him to overcome this, pushing Aang into a Mongolian fireball, ending the fight. You see, since this battle climaxes in the spirit world, you don't actually need a death, since they're both dead already. Alternatively, you could have Poe be in shock that Aang is dying in front of him, promising to mentor Korra when she is of age. There's a lot you can do here, so I hope it happens someday. Now this is a comic book matchup. Hela vs Ares, the god of death vs the god of war. It is basically just Evil 4 vs Wonder Woman, with them both being their half-siblings depending on the incarnation. Plus, let's be honest, Marvel and DC villains are so much more interesting to learn about than the heroes. Unfortunately, if you're not into hearing about multiversal and universal characters, this one ain't for you, since this could go either way. So this should come down to their abilities, I think. I hear Hela takes it. You could 100% have a dark werewolf track in the same vein as one king to rule them all. And unlike Sauron vs Arthas, you could have them summon undead armies to fight each other, whilst they clash in the foreground. Fun idea, cool characters, and a good debate. What more could you ask for? Scooby vs Courage was interesting because the characters canonically know each other, so let's do it again. Peter vs Homer is a classic, we all know that by now. The Simpsons was something I watched a lot as a kid, and Family Guy is everywhere nowadays. There's some people who would moan if this happened because they've already met, and it could end in a tie, but I don't care. This one's just got fun analysis and animation potential in the same vein as Scooby vs Courage. Hell, you could play around with Peter's cutaways and have them visit different locations, possibly even other death battles. I don't have too much to say here since this one's popular enough to where you probably heard it all by now. Here's hoping we get it soon. If any fighting game matchup has a shot for the next season, it's this one. Liu Kang vs Jaeger has been highly requested for years now, and for good reason. The battle between 90s rival fighting games, resident protagonists and monks. You both are destined to defeat alien conquerors, who we'll get into later, don't you worry. Anyways, this one as of late is a bit iffy, since Liu Kang is now the god of fire rather than just a monk and should be universal if you buy blaze scaling, but I've heard there's new uni MK scaling available. Jago on the other hand has iffy scaling too. He scales to Tusk's Meteor feet, sure, but scaling to star level Gargos has always been a bit iffy to me since it was Tusk who killed him to begin with, and it was a combined effort from everyone that beat him in Shadow Lords. But even if you do buy into it, he should still lose. This has potential for a good old fashioned bloodbath too, with some level of admiration shown between the two. Perhaps of Liu Kang mentoring Jago as the fight progresses. This has really great track potential too, and you can never go wrong with having more killer instinct on the show. I'd definitely be interested as to how this one will go down. I've always been fascinated by different cultures, especially ancient ones that worship gods. And the Aztecs are no different. You probably know where this is going. Kotal Khan vs Ogre. I don't have anything to say about Ogre, but Kotal is my third favourite MK character, so I have a lot to say about him as a character. Maybe another time though. This is a battle between two Aztec inspired fighters who weaponize the power of the sun, as well as being worshipped by ancient civilizations. There's no holding back here. 
This one should be absolutely brutal, and since both can change into different forms, there's a lot of animation potential here, and can start with Ogre wanting to absorb Kotal's Chi as his own, but Kotal not having it immediately goes for the kill. As for who wins, I can't say for certain since Kotal scaling is tricky. He has canonically beaten the Elder God level threat, Shao, via the power of stupid writing. It's all up for interpretation, and you can't complain about more Tekken matchups. Plus, we haven't had an episode featuring a modern MK character yet, so this would be my preferred start. I'm gonna need it for this matchup. William Afton vs Junko, the battle between villains known for their love of despair and agony, who hide behind animal mascots to kill others. There's a lot more into it than that, so please go see the pinned comment for the full connection list. Reddit's gonna love this one, I'm sure. I grew up with FNAF, with Springtrap being my favourite character, and Danganronpa seems really up my alley. This is just a really unique horror matchup with an Alice potential that could make it a season highlight for certain. As for who wins, whilst there is a lot of debate to be had here regarding whose virus is superior, or whether or not Afton could take over the Monogumas, I would ultimately give it to Afton for a pretty simple reason. While Junko is more than capable of blitzing and destroying Springtrap's body, and potentially defeating the Glitch Trap virus, she doesn't possess any means to destroy his soul. Because of that, Afton can quote, always come back and obtain a physical form through numerous ways, to the point that he will eventually win a war of attrition against Junko through his hacks. The debate alone makes it such a cool matchup, one that's really good so long as you don't have a bitch in your ear telling you it isn't. We need another Devil May Cry episode. And I think we all know which matchup it should be. Nero vs Hellboy. The battle between half-demon monster hunters who have a powerful right hand, specialising in revolvers and swords, with both achieving a more powerful form after accepting their demon sides. There's an easy setup here with Nero mistaking Hellboy for a proper demon, with Hellboy needing to defend himself. Naturally, given the personalities of these two, there's really fun dialogue potential, and the track by Brandon would go incredibly hard. Of course, the fight would climax with Nero's Devil Trigger form and Hellboy's Amon and Rama form. I've probably butchered that. As for who wins, I think Hellboy's scaling is pretty clear cut, but I am not getting into my stance on DMC scaling, I'll leave that to the experts. Since the crew likes this too, I'd say this could happen sooner rather than later, thank god. You know, people have worshipped god since the beginning of time, and I myself am no difference, devoting myself entirely to these two elders deities. Of course, I'm referring to our gods Boog and Big Z. I mean, look at them, they just ooze big cock energy. It's Boog open season, what more do I even have to say? It's the best movie ever made and you're a dingus if you think otherwise. And Big Z, just look at him. He's a stoner alcoholic person. Penguin thing. Big Z, Kinney Nation, rise up. These two should go Super Saiyan 5 during the fight, breaking the Omniverse as we know it in half. Then recreate it with their Boog powers and do it all over. Because these two fickalicious boys can do anything they want, because I said so. Ben Singer, you're a nice dummy for not doing this one yet. <laughs> God, please validate my inside jokes. Magneto as a character is just insanely cool, easily my second favourite Marvel villain, and his fight against Tetsuo was excellent. And whilst I don't need him to return, I still really want him to. So who are his options? There's Accelerator, which is decent, but I don't know much about Index. There's Mewtwo, which doesn't vibe with me, and there's Dr. Polaris, which no. My preferred for him is Dracula, the battle between once decent men who were ostracised from society by bigots, seeking revenge against humanity for what they did to their families, with the contrast being that Magneto wants mutant prosperity, whilst Dracula couldn't care less about what happened to the vampires, he just uses them for his war. Depending on the incarnation, both have redeemed themselves, especially with the relationship to their children. Something about Magneto fighting against a vampire sounds so awesome. And depending on your stance on Universal Castlevania, this should be very close. Although I presume Magneto still takes it, and I honestly don't care either way. Since I love both of these characters, with Dracula's story in the Netflix show making me cry. Again, neither of these two need to return, but it doesn't mean I won't fight for them to get a second episode. Oh boy, this one should be nice and civil. Walter White vs Light Yagami, the battle between two well-meaning individuals who just wanted to create a better world for them and their families, 
whose egos ended up destroying all of the bonds in their life. Eventually having their identities discovered, ending up dying, being able to reflect upon their actions. It's really damn solid, and something very unique for a death battle. This is surprisingly debatable. Sure, the death note does function as a near instant win, but it requires that Light finds out the name of his opponent, which is something he doesn't know via the rules of death battle. And if he were to ask questions, Walter is smart enough to get suspicious and not answer or deliberately lead Light on the wrong trail. They're also quite close in terms of stats, being regular humans, but Walter does have a gun which means that even if Light did find out Walter's name, he'd probably get shot before even being able to finish writing it. There may be some functionality of the death note I'm not aware of that can change the outcome, but in a death battle scenario I do think that Walter wins. And to address the elephant in the room, Light versus Columbo. You can find plenty of debunks as to how and why that matchup sucks, and I agree. That matchup is not good and would not make for an interesting episode. I've seen people who want it just because Liam does. Like, what? You're allowed to like a matchup because someone convinced you on it, but wanting something just because someone else does does not help that matchup's case. And I say this as someone who likes Liam just as much as everyone else does. He, he is the ghost. Plus, with how requested Walter vs. Light is, there's bound to be conflict when Light eventually gets onto the show. All I ask is that you form your own opinions, because they're all valid. I just don't like Columbo as an opponent for Light since it's very generic. But you have the right to say you do, and more power to you if you do. Well, that's part 6 done. Hopefully I convince you on at least one matchup here. I'm aware there were some controversial picks here, but these are just matchups that I love. With that being said, stay safe and be excellent to each other.